once again welcome very much my name is Tekla Schulte your host and today as we have been discussing most of the time about the marriage basket and the last time I saw we talk about the different issues the general issues that are seen in the marriage basket we talk on the things that are supposed to be taken out and things that are supposed to be left for us to embrace so today in the marriage and relationship basket again we are going to talk about different issues concerning sex yeah you heard me right I said sex so People say using sex as weapon in a relationship turns intimacy into welfare. But we can see different youth or different ladies out there today tend to use sex as a weapon to get actually what they want to their partners. So the quick question is, is sex a weapon in a relationship? Can sex be used as a weapon in a relationship? So today we have very young and amazing energetic youth that they want to bring out and give out their perception about sex. Is really sex a weapon in a relationship? Can you really get what you want in your partner? But also we have a guy, a man, who can also give us, give us his perception about the whole knowledge. Can really you, can a, when a girl use sex, can it really, really make him give what he wants so this is a different perception coming from youth and we have different people in the studio welcome very much thank you thank you thank you as uh, so i want to provide a room for you guys to introduce yourselves i didn't want to go very direct and straight saying what really you guys do but mm, i'll wrap it up at the end of it so welcome very much uh raymond socrates so raymond please introduce yourself first where, like she has said, um, Raymond Socrates, um, a student, and I also happen to be a writer. I basically write about current affairs, whatever that is ongoing in our country. If I get a chance of criticizing the same, I always do. Wow, Raymond. You also told me that even the swearing in, you wrote uh, some one or two, three things about of course, it. Of I did, but I've not yet published my, my article. Mm. Because I waited that uh, I, I generalize it, the swearing in of the president and the MPs. And for the MPs, I think it ended yesterday. So mm. it is not until like it, everything is done that I shall mm. publish it. So Raymond Socrates, he's a writer, but also a law student. So you, you, we, we actually are looking forward to get a lot of things coming from you. As you said, you're a writer. So I believe you have a lot of uh, knowledge that you really, really want to share with yeah, us. And but indeed you shall. Yeah. So also on my left-hand side, I have Esther Chilabo. I hope I pronounce it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah welcome Esther. Please introduce yourself. Um, hello, everyone. This is Chilabo Esther before you. Um, a student of Kampala International University. Mm -hmm. I'm in my fourth year doing Bachelor of Laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a strong, strong human rights activist. Wow. I hate it when I see people's rights being infringed. Mm -hmm. It really hurts me a lot. So, uh, you're welcome to our show, guys. Wow. We normally know the debate of human, human rights are uh, human rights. Yes. Mm? Yes, we, yes, yes, yes. Women's yes, rights are human rights. Yes. And here we're talking about sex. Um, so actually, I want to see your perception more about the issue of consent. Mm? When you talk about human rights, is it uh, when a person uses uh, sex as a weapon? Can it be an emotional abuse to guy, a guy? Yes, but can it yes, also... Yes, yes, yes. So we are going to listen and see what Esther is going to talk about that. But in my right-hand side, I have an amazing lady as well. Her name is uh, Agatha. Yes. Welcome very much. Thank you. Uh, please, Agatha, introduce yourself. Thank you so much, our host. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Agatha Irankunda, and I'm currently pursuing my undergraduate degree in law at Kampala International University. Mm -hmm. I'm also an equal rights activist, mm -hmm. and I'm a proud feminist. Whoa, yeah. so we have a feminist inside. So actually, uh, how are your viewers? Uh, take your time. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Today, we have a writer. We have a serious human rights activist, and also we have... A feminist so back to our question and back to our topic of the day we say can sex be used as a weapon in a relationship yeah. can it be used as a weapon in a relationship uh, I'm going to give very very random questions and I want anyone who wants to join in and speak about it you talk about it right yes. so coming back to let me start with Raymond yes, please. Raymond <laughs> uh, do you think uh, sex 
what is sex to you first of all what is sex to you of course as a writer i can look at sex from a twofold mm. first and foremost from a perspective of gender mm. looking at male and female mm. then the other perspective would be an action of having intercourse between male and female mm. so me personally that is my pers perception when it comes to sex or if i must define sex so as we are talking about the intercourse part the intimacy it part mm? <laughs> <laughs> dear writer please yeah. don't take no. us away from our wing so no, please can you tell us but i just wanted to establish uh, yeah, yeah. Can, what, can you define it what when a person say uh, sex can be used as a weapon in a relationship what comes in your head is the first thing what comes at the first thing in your head of, of course, when you talk about a weapon, me, I can view it from a perspective of causing injury or inflicting pain mm -hmm. on an individual. Mm. And pain can be physical, mm. can be psychological. Mm. So on the, on the perspective of sex or looking at sex, mm. it is more on the psychological part mm. than the physical part. Because mm. at the end of the day, if I, as a man, am denied my conjugal rights, mm. there is a way it, sh it shall it shall kind of torture me mm. and the like. So at the end of the day, I realized that mm. these women can easily enforce whatever they want from us using sex. So indeed, sex can be used as a weapon against men. So, so you want to tell me that, uh, coming to your own pers pers perspective, yes. if a woman uses sex as a weapon, you can actually provide what she wants in time. Of course, given the circumstances, mm -hmm. because she can use it at the wrong time, but if she uses it at the time <laughs> when, I, when I really want, mm. then at the end of the day, she, of course, she will have to surpass me. And, and for example, maybe to say you are you are in a relationship, you are married or what, yes. and then you find out that you are you are your your partner, you are with her for a whole week, a month, but you're not especially when you're married but she doesn't want to provide sex because uh, there's something maybe you didn't buy for her that bracelet she wanted uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> definitely that, that that looks like the same thing i was i was admitting that actually as we as men mm. we are easily governed whenever it comes to issues related to sex mm. a man can do anything that i assure you <laughs> yeah that is actually that is the only weapon mm. the men can sorry the women can use against us men and we can't surpass all there is no we can mm. go, go around the so you recommend for us to continue using no of course i don't recommend because <laughs> <laughs> i i could deny you something out of genuine reasons probably i don't have the money and mm. like but now when it comes to sex, of course, it is it is a different thing altogether. Mm. I, I see Esther. Uh, Esther wanted to to chip in something. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted she wanted to so, say something about it. But coming from your perspective of being a human rights activist, Esther, yes. Mm? yes, is it an emotional blackmail? And can a person be sued for not giving sex to his partner? But at the same time, can is it? Do you think it's right? And what does the law actually say about it? As a, uh, as a human rights activist, mm. we all know that when it comes to consent, okay, let me just specifically talk about consent, because mm. now if there are two parties, mm. a man and a female, and of course a man is requesting, yeah, I need sex, mm. and a woman has refused, mm. let me tell you, you cannot force. Mm. Oh, it will be? It's, you're not supposed to force. That, mm. would ret that would turn out into a different it's, thing. It's, right. It is Actually, not forcing. It's Actually, maybe... If Okay, it is not necessary for me because at the end of the day, mm. even the Bible is very clear about that provision. You should only deny for the sake of prayer. And even if it's prayer, it should not be prolonged. So at the end of the day, whenever I want, I should, I should have whatever. But, but Raymond, <laughs> Raymond, 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 no, 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 the, the scriptures are God's mouthpiece, mm. so we ought to follow them the, the, in the manner in which they are stated as mm. Christians. So as any prudent female Christian, whenever your man needs, you should always provide. You okay. should always deny for the sake of prayer. Raymond also... And can you try ah, not ah, to ah, put ah, this ah, in line ah, with Christianity? No, but because you, you're not going to base every no argument mm. there no is on the Bible. You're no, not like going to do that. that, that, that you cannot, you but cannot as a Christian, use the Bible to solve issues that are affecting people in 2021. Mm. Mm. Honestly. Okay, back to where we were. I wanted to ask you a question, Raymond. Hmm? Yes. You said you are a law student. Exactly. But being also a law student, you also say the issue of Christianity. So where actually do you stand? Like, will you actually say, tell your wife, uh-uh, I'm a man, and you have to listen to me? Or will you go with the law school of what you have studied in school? 
mm, at, at the end of the day as an individual because my being a lawyer or being a law student mm. does not take away my being a Christian. Mm. So at the end of the day, I must ensure that I strike a balance between the two. Mm. And besides, of course, as human beings, we are born to error. So I may somehow, somewhere be misguided, but at the end of the day, my duty as a person who is belonging to all subscribes to both the law and mm. the Christianity bit of it, mm. I must strike a balance between the two. And of course, balance is is subjective in nature. Mm. What may what can amount to striking a balance between the two may not be the same. With I, I'm seeing I'm seeing Esther wants to, to with talk. <laughs> uh-huh. This guy is suffering a lot for nothing. <laughs> 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 Wait, suffering. My point was concern. Not and mm-hmm. you know, like, like, drug us. You, you didn't even <laughs> mention <laughs> consent. <laughs> Oh she okay. asked a question about consent. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. Have Proceed. I, oh yes, what should I talk about? I, but, but I pray I should be given time to rebut. The moment, <laughs> the moment it is okay. she it wanted me a to add a little bit expound more about consent when it comes to what? Mm-hmm. Conjugal rights. Mm-hmm. Yes, these things are about working together a man mm-hmm. and a woman. Mm-hmm. You get? A man has to come and consent. Do you know the reason that, or do you know the reasons for consent? Um, I may become, I may be at that time too sick. Mm-hmm. And when just take an example, when you just come to me, who is very, very but but sick, I believe at the moment, at the moment you, you are with your partner, you actually know that this person maybe she's in which kind of hell. And I don't believe that a man can actually not necessarily want some men take long to be at home. It's like mm-hmm. home things, they have nothing to do with what home things, and some of them have issues with understanding. Mm-hmm. So, such yeah. men, and most of the time, <laughs> men don't want to listen when it comes to sex. Yes. They ah, become, they, they behave in a certain manner. And so, so that is you find that in this sense, consent will actually help you to either enjoy your sex mm-hmm. or fail to enjoy it. Because now, when you're forcing me to have sex according to Section 123 of the penal code. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 If, if you if you have, if you want to have sex with me and you do it without consent, it will amount into rape. Now, which enjoyment? So shall I shall I be given chance to defend my men? It's it's okay. It's okay. You tell us. You tell us your perception. Well, of 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 course. Now, as you can all see. The women are three and one, so they, they shall keep I'm on surpassing me. But, I'm a host. But, but <laughs> that, that does not stop you from being a woman. Yes, of course, like she has cited the consent and what of you. She stated how some men can be hard to understand, but that is to a limited perspective. A few individuals, mm. not all men are actually subject to not understanding. Mm. And but because by the time I'm staying with you, by, by the time I'm staying with you, actually, we are married, you're my spouse. Mm. When you when we are to go to do into the deeper meaning and understanding of the word spouse, mm. of course there is that element of understanding each other, having most of our time mm. together as a family. So at the end of the day, I can't fail to know that this individual is sick. And besides, some women can always use it as a trick. Mm. Like I said, because there is that something they want to promote, there is that something they want from you. Mm. And they know so well that as men, that is the weakest point of men. Mm. So they shall govern that country. Mm-hmm. Sorry. The, this <laughs> <laughs> it is a country though. The it is a country. To govern, the women are going to govern this mm. one or are governing this one just because of that one thing. Mm. Sex. If we, we are to trace back history, several presidents, I think it was one president who, who had made a hole through the White House mm, mm, mm. just for sex. Uh, at the end of the day, you realize that uh, these women are using sex as a weapon. She talked about the consent, she cited the law and what of you, but the law she cited, that is the Penal Code section 123 of. Yes, yes, okay. yes, Penal Code Act, one, one, Section 123 of the, of the Penal Code Act. These are those that we are shipped from England. Mm. And, 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 and what, coming back to Esther, Esther, you are very quiet and I really want to hear from you. Uh, I'm coming back to you, uh, Raymond. Eh? What, what do you actually uh, give your perception about this whole sex being used as a weapon? How do you take it in and how do you, how do you want to describe it? Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> So, uh, sex, we should not even be smiling talking about sex as a weapon <laughs> because uh, outside there, the reality is people are suffering, especially people of my gender. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, there are those situations where we use the sex to get what we want, mm-hmm. but probably because that is the easiest way we can do it, Thank we you. have tried talking, you, talking Agatha. has failed. Mm-hmm. So we do something that we know that will interest you into giving me what I want. Mm-hmm. Now, back on the point of sex being a weapon, sex has been used to... 
what's the word? Sex has been used to blackmail women into doing things that they, they uh, don't ideally don't want to mm. do. So the man can tell you, if you do not do this, I can easily just go and get a, another, a, another woman, woman outside mm. there mm. who will give me what I want. And in the long run, because you, you will people. do what you, what you do not want to do. You understand? So indeed, it is right that sex can be used as a weapon in marriage. Mm -hmm. yes. So ac according to, 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 S to Agatha, you are trying to say that even men use sex as a weapon. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Men no, and women, <laughs> we both use sex as a weapon mm -hmm. in the marriage. But we of both course, do. Exactly. Of course, it may exist, but the, but the women are at a higher chance of suppressing the men as opposed to us men. Because at the end of the day, they, they lose nothing. Oh, actually, they can go without sex. But when it comes to a man, you can't avoid it. Even if you give them, maybe, if they, even if they tell that maybe, if you don't give me 100 million, no sex today. Mm -hmm. I swear, any man, if they want and there is that act, there is that need, they shall pay that money. So they shall you are, you are trying to tell but me. But for the women, they can easily forward one. There is nothing ongoing. But when a man wants sex, sex at the end of the day, they must make sure that they will. So if, if of course, you, you suppress me, you refuse to give me what I want, mm -hmm. I shall look for other alternative means. You so now, me, see, you it is as a result of such mentality. Hold on, it is after her using that. As a result of such mentality. That I shall look for other alternatives. So as a result of such mentality. To avoid these bad uh -huh. alternatives, I'm opting for. No, no. Uh -huh. let, let's let's I'm see for. what 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 yes, is Esther yes. trying to say. Uh -huh. As a result of such mentality, mm -hmm. you find that women face domestic violence as a result. The man will beat you mm. because you refuse to have sex with them. Mm -hmm. The man will abuse you emotionally, probably on a daily, because Physically. you refuse to have sex with them. And in the long run, you're arguing that could it's, you, it's you mostly be, on the women's side. Statistics. But at least on the women's side, we usually use the weapon to get good things. But you understand when you refuse to have sex with your husband, mm. he can even beat you because of that. He can go on to marry another woman mm. because of that. And you will find situations where women are, are actually push to the wall. For example, she's on her period. It's mm. very, very unfortunate yes, mm. yes, that yes, some women yes, are forced yes, to have sex when they, were, when they are on their period. Mm. And even the people, the stakeholders, we can do our research on that and talk about that, that the whole day. I know so many people who have suffered from so that. Is it, is it so, because, can it be a person's behavior or can it be because when a person goes to an extent of maybe trying to beat a girl, mm, mm. isn't it more of a personal behavior of that guy having that kind of behavior instead it of is of course it is personal behavior we are not generalizing the whole situation mm. but uh history has it people we've seen this happening in communities mm. women being beaten over sex and mm. stuff mm. like that Seriously. being forced into sex when they're on their period mm. we've seen it happen of course but it's not, not so general woman. that it's on every man it's not mm. there Seriously. are good men out there that's, they are there that you, like okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you eh? Where, where I used to stay in Mingo, eh? mm. I saw this clear with my eyes. Eh? Mm. A man was quarreling. This woman doesn't want to give me sex. She doesn't want to give me sex. She, he counted some good days that months, days mm -hmm. have gone by, months have gone by, mm -hmm. and this woman has denied me sex. Do you know what happened? Mm -hmm. That ended in serious battery. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, there they are coming it's from your example, from time. your example, Esther. Yes, eh? yes. Uh, is it right for you to get married and be in a rela be in marriage? Like we are talking in marriage here, yes, yes. with your partner for six months or three months, as the example you have said here, without giving him sex. Is it right? Or it, uh, even though the law is saying about it, mm -hmm. then. We are we really we really need to go to the Bible right now. Eh? The Bible said we go and multiply. <laughs> uh -huh. yes, exactly. Is it right? Do you think it's right, even in a human right perspective, to stay with your man, which is your rightful husband, for six months or a year without giving him sex? According to me, mm -hmm. this is too 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 circumstantial. Mm -hmm. You know, a man will ask for sex, but this is a person who also takes too long to come back. And also counts that time period that you've denied Actually, him sex. That, that is the uh -huh. best person to give even when they ask for because they are rarely at home. This guy is over disturbing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, of this, course, I shall I'm say so my fellow men being it, taken away. It's the same person when I tell him I'm sick, mm. when I tell him children need fees, 
when I tell him to care for everything, like he doesn't okay do his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Now, how easy will it be for me to give such a person what sex? sex. But they're normally oh, saying, but they're easy? normally saying we have Would to be very careful sex, with, you know? with women because we look like we want a lot more than a man can provide. But at the same time, exactly. we want. Uh, we have the bra we want the bracelet, we want this, we want that, but at the same time we want us to we want men to also stay at home, like the way you are prescribing it. But at the same time he needs to provide for the school fees, he needs to provide for everything that is needed at home. Mm -hmm. So the only time maybe he's he's getting to stay with his ma his woman is that small little time that he comes home. Don't you think that's it's a little bit fair? Let me tell you not at all. You see, we all know that according to men Sex is one of the number one things. Mm, mm. They give priority. You get? They need that sex. Is where you should not deny us a when chance. They <laughs> need sex. They prioritize sex to be number one. Loyalty and what? And support. Mm. Yes. So when we look at these men, the, the, the side of the men, you find that whether they like it or not, they have to enforce all ways to what? To have sex. Mm. So, But uh, yes. uh, Gata, you wanted to say something. Yes, I wanted to say something in regards to the time. You know, when you are giving your example, you said, if, uh, is it okay for a woman to deny her husband sex mm. for six months? Mm. Now, personally, coming from the human side of me, mm. sex is an important need. Mm. We cannot deny that fact. Mm. And the other fact that society doesn't accept or accept us to talk about is mm. the fact that women enjoy sex in as much as men enjoy mm. sex. Mm. That mm. is right. That is so. By the time and the they benefit more. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. The part. women. <laughs> how, how however, they add in so much in us, but they benefit more from the same. Okay. Because so, going back to that point of six months, I believe that six months is really a long period. Mm. Uh, by the time you don't want to sleep with someone for six months, something must be really serious, mm. and it's better you leave such a marriage mm. than staying around. He's not your brother anyway. That aside, <laughs> you cannot stay in that marriage for six months denying him sex. Now, the denial we look at that is that could probably okay if you're denying him for like a week maybe something is wrong you're sick it's that is understandable but mm. six months that is something really serious you'd better leave that marriage than stay there Agatha. six mm -hmm. months for this particular is a long time situation, eh? mm -hmm. the man the man is trying to also okay little bit be manipulative somehow mm. he's trying to make things what was but i also give what an example that someone wasn't even around of wasn't mm. around for all that time period but now no, if, if they weren't moment, around it doesn't but, count but why do they even try to if they weren't around it's not supposed to count lie? so okay, okay hold on let me let me fire her one question mm -hmm. so you want this man to stay at home they don't provide for the children they don't provide the food that you're going to cook for us families and all that you got no your, your attention it is their duty so they are performing their duty that is why they are away for those six for that six month period you're complaining about but if you're away you if you're away for those six months why are you asking for sex? How, no, like, how was I she, supposed no, to give you she, sex when she, you're away? She's saying, she saying that this a person asking for sex is a person that, that has said away for a period of six months, they can't provide, they can't do a B, C, and D, like mm -hmm. she stated. So mm -hmm. at the end of it, of course, there is no I can have sex when I'm away. I can only ask for it in my presence. So when I come and ask for it after the period of six months, she's denying me because I've been there for six mm -hmm. months. But that's the only time. I've actually I've gotten to be at home. Can so there are circumstances that mm. push us mm. from from probably avoiding the families mm. and all that. Mm. But the time we are at home, mm. they should provide whenever we ask. Of course, if circumstances but then permit, you shouldn't count exceptions of sicknesses. You shouldn't count and, them. But it is you, you counted them. them. It is you who counted them. But okay, coming I'm coming back to like coming back to our topic. Mm. Mm? Uh, if I'm getting you right, correct me if I'm wrong, Raymond. Mm -hmm. uh, as a man, you are willing to do anything to get sex so it means even i mean you're really t you're ready to provide to your partner if he's using sex as a weapon of course uh, of course if, if the providing thank is you. within Ooh. my means thank you, thank you. and like i submitted earlier there is of, of course it is it is one of the weakest points mm, mm. of men mm. the sex mm. and it is their strongest mm. that is why even king david mm. god is mm. beloved friend <laughs> if i may say was found peeping Mm. Uriah's, Uriah's, Uriah's wave. So at the end of the day, you realize that these these people can easily control us, can easily surpass us, based on that fact, and that is our weakest 
our weakest point. So they can easily manipulate us, they can easily get whatever they want from us when they use sex as a weapon. But if we just sit down and agree on maybe accordingly, given the circumstances around them, then uh, according, okay, if a man now is providing, he is doing whatever duties he's supposed to do, mm. you find that we shall have no ways of, of continuing, actually we cannot just yeah. continue using sex tactics. Yes, exactly. that is true, but to you, make, you should, should also, all, which should brings also us back study. to the point of roles. We should, we should all do our roles. Yes, that we should all do that our roles that. and that's, everything yes, will yes. be in harmony. Yes, if yes. you do what you're supposed to do, I, I also do what I'm supposed to do, trust me that, that sex is, will that happen. Is, that, that is very true, but there is a way you women are talented with exaggerating things. Mm -hmm. You find a woman, you, you, you tell her, you, you tell her, I work by for issues. Mm -hmm. Take for instance, they are maroon in color. She will demand for a maroon dress. She will, she will tell you that now there is the other bag that matches with the same outfit. Now I change my hair. So at the end of the day, a person who, who would have spent 20,000 on the pair of shoes, I need really? an extra 50 to get the dress. dress. I need an extra maybe shoes. 100 mm -hmm. to play the hair. Now she's sad. Now you know the lip gloss is supposed to match with the dress. Now the watch is supposed to match with Okay, no, so that, that is exaggerating. Yes. exaggeration. Ah, that is exaggerating. You're exaggerating. Exactly. Give me chance to speak. Give me chance to speak. Right, give me so chance to speak. The, the problem, the problem mm -hmm. is that you don't give me a chance. The child is very sick. Well, the child is very sick. Yeah? But the man, it's like when you tell him, uh, hello, the child is sick. Do you know what next? That's your business. Mm -hmm. Now when you come back home, hey, hey, I'll use it properly. <laughs> I'll first give it to you and the, then tell you. Because I believe that's the time you understand most. Coming yeah? back. No, the, uh, the problem is that these ladies <laughs> don't want to give me a chance to speak. I, I when think they are speaking, I leave them to complete whatever they want. But when it comes you, to my turn, they want to. No, you complete what you Okay, coming back no, to no, our viewers, can. guys. Uh, I hope we have all kind of one way or another got something from coming to the topic is sex can be used as a weapon for marriage so we're going for a short break hmm? then we're going to come back with a different question but i think our viewers have already understood and tried to analyze our perspective as youth first of all i came to understand first that whip, uh, sex as a weapon can also be used by men to actually trigger and get no, whatever they want. Let me tell you eh, how it can be used as a weapon. <laughs> you don't know. A man will come back home feeling that zeal of having sex and will be like, you know, give me sex. Mm -hmm. He has done nothing like to know how you are feeling and all that. Of course, that Do you know he will just use he will tell me that I'm not fine uh, uh, If you're now refusing, <laughs> you are uh, uh, you tell you 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 if, not, if you're refusing you are. to give me sex now, let me go for the other prostitutes I mm -hmm. always use. How will you, okay, tell me your mental no, state no, as uh, a uh, woman. Uh, how will you be? No. How will you feel? You will feel emotionally tormented. Yes. 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 So also for, for a man, also we are supposed, men are also, are also supposed to be much more concerned. Yes. Taking, asking more of uh, the girls, uh, how did they uh, be the whole day and all that. But anyways, as I said, as I said earlier, we're going for a short break. This is my show today. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Do you think it is right to have sex? before marriage.